Hello and welcome to another video. This time it's not a road trip. Actually, I'm on my road trip, the Italian road trip that I'm just currently on the way back from. But we are in the Alps of Switzerland and we are fully charged to 100%. The thing is, we are now on like 1700 meters. We have to go up to 2400, I think, or 2200 and we are going down to 400 meters as the car is fully charged it will lose some amount of charge until we are on the pass of the mountain but we are also going way further down than we are going up so we should charge a lot more while regening down the hill so i actually don't know what's gonna happen uh, if the battery is fully charged and we still want to recharge i guess we will only have to use the uh, mechanical brakes but i never tested it and i actually never seen a video from the e-golf where it was tested i know the tesla when it's charged to 100 percent won't regen at all or almost nothing uh, the e-golf will regen a bit but not that much So we are going to test this now. I have set up two GoPros in the car and my dash cam. So we should be loaded with uh, cameras and should have enough videos to see everything, I hope at least. And um, yeah, we will see on the way down what's gonna happen. Um, I'm gonna use the microphones of the GoPros. So I'm not sure how good the sound is gonna be. Um, if it's crap, I'm sorry already, but I can't change it now. I don't have any additional microphones with me. So I hope it's still an interesting video and we are gonna see what's gonna happen downhill with a fully charged battery. Let's go. All right, we are ready to go. We are charged up to 98%. That's all we got. This is what we have left to regen. It's like just about 20 kilowatt-ish, a bit more. Full is 40 kilowatts, half of it is 20. We are at 1700 meters, we're gonna go up to I think 2200 or 2400, something like that. And we are just gonna head out now. Um, so, let's see, don't mind my background. We are still on a road trip, so the car is fully packed with all of our stuff. That shouldn't matter though we have to go this way around right now we obviously don't have uh, full potential for regenning as we are almost fully charged so there are some people with package running around um, as we are driving uphill quite a bit now uh, we are gonna lose some battery of course and we are gaining capabilities to regen um, if we are gonna go down to 85% or below we will be able to regen to the max but I'm pretty sure we won't uh, stay below 85 or even 90% for the whole way so I'm just gonna set my speed limiter to 60 as we are in Switzerland and it's pretty expensive to get a speeding ticket. So I guess we're now gonna fast forward a bit towards the pass and see how much juice we burn up there. Again, it's about 400 something meters, I think, or 500, something like that. I guess we will have about 60 to 70% when we are up there. But I'm not sure, we'll see. Let's go back and over there. Just up there, you can probably 
We have a peak at the glacier up top of the mountain. It's currently stuck in a cloud, but I think it was better visible before. I'm not sure. Awesome landscape here. Absolutely gorgeous. So we are already like 300-ish meters up um, and we are down to 89% almost 10%, which is uh, not that bad, I'd say. We currently have a consumption of, let's see, since charging 19.6. Of course, quite high as we are only going uphill. Really looking forward to see the consumptions down the hill later. It's gonna be like minus 10, possibly. I don't know. That would be nice to see, negative consumption. It's getting quite dark, I think, and also we got a slow fast lorry in front of us, but now there's some room to go ahead. So, easy. I hope you still can see enough. I think this camera shouldn't be a problem, as long as I don't have my hands in the way. And for this one, I'm just gonna turn on my overhead lights as long as I'm talking so yeah we just crossed over the pass at 2300 30 something meters, I think. So we are down to 82%, and now it's going downhill for like 2000 meters. So let's see what's, what my car does and what my battery man management system does. And right now we have potential for full regen as we are below 85%, but that probably hold, won't hold for too long. Currently 156 kilometers on the gasometer, it's already rising. And I should slow down a bit because it's going quite a bit down the hill there. We are currently down like 200 meters and we already gained 2%, 3% of battery, which is awesome and I'm really excited to see what my car will do if it's full and I'm really look looking forward to see what my kind of improvised display down here is gonna show, if it's gonna stop at 100% or if it's going up and beyond because I already had it show 101% two times or three times, I think, which should be because of the way it reads the data out of the diagnostic port and calculates the net percentage of my battery because the BMS only really reports the gross capacity. And I don't want to know this because I want to know when my car says, okay, nothing left, even though there's like 6% buffer, I think. It's not factory and it's improvised, but as long as it works, I'm fine with it. But I'm not sure how it will calculate over 100% theoretical capacity. And you can also see the regen capabilities, which is indicated by this green arrow over here. Um, it's already shrinking a bit, it's going down, probably because of heat and also the SOC as we just reached 85%, or just gonna be reaching 86, here we go, still 1700 meters to go. And region just was a bit laggy already, I released the throttle and it just rolled on 
even though it was indicating full regen, but it didn't do anything. I had to use mechanical brakes. I guess this happens because of high temperature, but I'm not sure and sadly I haven't gotten it to work to show the temperature down here in my little screen. That's a future project, but yeah, didn't get it to work yet. We are charged up to 90% already and I'm already feeling the regen limit as I'm definitely braking a lot more with the mechanical brakes. You can feel the difference be between um, regen and mechanical brakes in the pedal while it's blending over. It's like a weird thing to describe if you drove an EV with that brake blending before, you know what I mean. But it's also kind of a bit wobbly and, and stucky and not that perfectly comfortable. Uh, but yeah, it could definitely be worse. There are some construction sites here where there's only one-way traffic with those traffic lights. 91%. A bit more to go to the 100. We are down about 900 meters right now, so we should be at 100% shortly before we reach the bot bottom of the mountain. So let's see, I guess. We already regen up to 93% and the regen limit is already higher than when we started. So we can't regen as much as when we started with 98%, even though we are not as fully charged. I'm pretty sure it's because of all the heat going into the battery that it can't take that much anymore. Um, I mean, it's regening up to 20 kilowatts for like the past 10-15 minutes or something. I'm not wondering that that's happening, but it's interesting to see. And we already got almost 300 kilometers on the gasometer, which also makes sense because we're just going downhill all the time. And uh, we don't use any energy, we only get it. So the gasometer thinks, yeah, you can keep that up for like forever and go for how long you want which is kind of cool but also kind of stupid because obviously I'm not going downhill like forever. That's gonna end some time. So that's the problem with a gasometer that's calculating available range from current consumptions. It's just always like a bit of not in that exact situation I guess. That's why I also built this percentage display because I know pretty well how far I can go with a certain percentage of my battery and the gasometer sometimes just tells me crap or I know I have to go uphill on one way and downhill the other way so I know I need 20% for the round trip but 15 towards the destination at 5% back or something. So that's just things you have to keep in mind. And that's way easier to guess with that percentage than with uh, just the gasometer and this bar here. Also, did I mention before how much I love those dynamic high beam assist functions that my car has? It's so awesome. I just love it. Can't describe it any differently. So I'm completely regenning and I didn't make it down to the 60 kilometers per hour that the new limit was because regen just limited. Still we are at only 94% so I have to brake mechanically to slow down because I'm just not regenning enough. Just doesn't do anything. Limiter blinks but won't break. Also the regen limit is like shrinking a lot right now. Can't even take 20 kilowatts anymore. 
as soon as I'm lifting, it's gonna go up again, and we're reducing it again. But I'm quite slow around here, so I have to go a bit faster for the people behind me. We're up to 95%, and only 300 meters left to go down. So, not even sure we regen as much as we burned those 500 meters up or what it was then we on our way down got a nice bridge we have there and i have to brake mechanically because they're slowing down too much and my regen can't take it battery's just too warm and too full won't take any more power we are up to 96 percent and region limit has lifted again over 20 kilowatts and it's shrinking as soon as I'm regening that's a very dynamic limit right there and there's the border coming back into Italy. I have no idea how fast I can go around here. It's 90 I think. That was a complicated sheet of who can drive how fast. And I don't care about this, I just do what my car says and I'm also breaking. <laughs> and we are already back into the village where we are staying for the night, up to 98%. So it seems like 500 meters up needs the same amount of energy than 2 kilometers down the hill. It's not enough to overcharge the battery at all. I mean, we are almost we are now at the same point that we started at in the case of the SOC but we couldn't oh my god we couldn't get more than 100% into the battery with a net difference in height of 1500 something meters I think interesting so that concludes Two kilometers is not enough downhill for 500 meters uphill. At least not with this car, as it can only reach on up to 40 kilowatts. What's interesting now is our consumption since charging. As we were going all the way downhill, we had the same SOC as when we started, so it's not definitely not the minus 10 uh, kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers that I guessed in the beginning but we have an actual average consumption of 0 minus 0.1 so we actually gained about 100 watts <laughs> on the way back <laughs> so much for the conclusion thanks for watching and Hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.